Let us complete USS2 that is Unix System Services 2. Click on it. Here is the PDF. It has 12 steps and it will take around 90 minutes. In step 1 it is just asking us to go to USS. So here is USS. We just have to expand it. Then in step 2 we have to fix our filter that is we have to click on the magnifying icon and then give here like this slash z slash and the user id it should be in lowercase letters press enter and that's it it will display all my files in step 3 it is just asking us to take a look around you can read all of it then go to step 4 in step 4 it is asking us to open terminal and connect to ssh so go to terminal new terminal and here give ssh so i give ssh my user id at the rate ip address then it is asking my password so i will enter my password here that's it i am now connected to the mainframe using ssh in step 4 it is telling us that you should know these commands make directory which is used to create a directory touch which is used to create a file cd which is used to change directories ls to list all the data sets and pwd which is print the working directory in step 5 we have to create a directory called uss movies so here give command make directory uss movies make sure the spellings are correct press the enter key then give ls and you can see a directory called uss movies is now existing now inside uss movies you have to put three files named after your favorite movies so let's go into uss movies and then create three files let's give terminator then let's give gladiator then let's give prestige then give ls and you will see three files are there gladiator prestige and terminator you can see it here as well close and expand and you can see uss movies is there and inside it we have three files gladiator prestige and terminator then in step 6 we have to delete everything that we just created so what we can do is we can use the remove command rm to remove first terminator then remove the gladiator and then remove the prestige give ls and you can see there is nothing here then give cd to go back now i am in the home directory and then i can remove the directory uss movies then give ls and you can see uss movies is not there go here close and expand and you will see uss movies is gone then let's go to step 7 open animals.sh here is animals.sh in step 8 it is just telling us more information about the script so you can read it in step 9 it is asking us to create a directory called uss2 output so create a directory make directory uss2 output then you have to create three files animal1 animal2 and animal3 so give here touch animal1 then give touch animal2 then give touch animal3 then inside each file we have to just enter one line so let's go to zexplore close and expand here is animal1 here just enter any animal like horse control save in animal2 you can give let's give zebra in animal3 let's give lion control s to save all three also you have to give enter after every line like this like this 
like this. This is the correct way to do this. Then it is asking us to give catalog animal 1 to 3. So let's give here catalog animal in the bracket 1, 2, 3. And you can see there are three lines, so zebra and line. But it is showing me two zebra and line are connected. So let's go to animal 2. Save it. Go to animal 3. And this is also correct. So let's give. Give here catalog. Now it is correct. It is showing three different lines, source, zebra and line. This is how the output should be. If it is not like this, then you have to make changes to the file. Now it is correct. Here I have to give the command ls l animals.sh. So give here ls l animals.sh. And this is the output read, write, read, read. So it is not an executable file. We have to make it executable by giving this command change mod plus x animals.sh. So copy and paste change mod plus x animals dot sh then again let's give ls and you will see read write xr xrx means it is an executable file then it is telling us about the concatenate command and we can run it using this cat animals dot sh so give here cat animals dot sh so this is the content of the animals.sh file. Now let's run the script by giving this command dot slash animals.sh. It is giving an error that you should run this with your first parameter, for example, animals.sh, then the name baron. So this step 11 is telling us that give your name and try again. So let's give animals.sh and then we shake. Script ran successfully. Check the message file in the USS2 output directory. So this is USS2 output. Open it. And here is message. Click on it. And this is the output. We are extremely happy to have Abhishek on the system. Operating system ZOS running on model 3906. If Abhishek looks out the window, they might say, Why hello there, horse zebra lion? And they will say back congratulations on finishing USS part 2. That's it. Step 12 is also complete. Run the script again. Giving the first argument as our name. Check the output. And when all of this is complete, then just run check USS2 in the public JCL. So let's go to datasets. This is public.jcl. And then check USS2. Right click and Submit job. Now submitted 9671. Close and expand. Condition code 0 means successful execution. Go to the website. Go down. Challenge complete. Validate my submission. Click on validate USS2. Click on validated. And you will see USS2 is now complete. Badge earned. Advanced now W advanced challenges way to go. Congratulations, you have leveled up. You are now advanced achiever. Awesome, you have completed this challenge. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix system services, and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.